met Frederico, yeah. It's, it's quite a story, actually. Um, I found out about Federico because um, one of our artists, uh, DM Contemporary um, artist, uh, Linda Cummings, was asked to moderate a talk that Federico was giving at Alwan for the Arts, which I am also on the board of. And um, it was lovely. It was um, Federico and Giovanni um, Fontana was uh, where they were both talking about the book. And um, Linda Cummings, who is an artist and her medium is photography, was, was invited to moderate. And um, she was amazed and fascinated by his work. And as a photographer herself, just so really, um, so something in Federico's work that moved her that she wrote me a very long letter. She was on her way to Bali and uh, via Dubai and but she had to stop and write this long email and send me uh, Federico's information and say she said he's still in New York for a few days try to catch him if you can and sure enough, I, uh, I called, I emailed Federico and I uh, called him and he was lovely as he always is uh, to come, you know, we, I was at the gallery and he came in and um, he introduced himself and I had thought because I was really um, squeezing him into my schedule that day, it was very, um, you know, impromptu that it was all done. And he came in and started to talk about his photography and it was wonderful. Everything slowed down and it was a whole experience of going into Federico's world or the world that he experienced. And he really knows how to get you into that world in a beautiful way. His photographs do that and he is also wonderful with his words and his imagery. Um, we had talked about possibly showing a, like next season sometime in the future and that we would be in touch. However, there was so much happening in the real world and so much that was going on in the news about the area and about the Middle East and um, that I felt this is so contemporary, this is so now, it's current, actual, it really has to come in, this show has to come in, be squeezed in immediately to participate um, with the conversation uh, that was going on or in the conversation that was going on um, and maybe open up people's minds in a certain way and show them things that might not be seen in the news, might not be covered in the papers because it's different. It's, a, it's the, what is going on with the land that was there, that has been there for years and centuries, uh, decades and centuries. Um, but there are so many things about that land that I, who consider myself from the Middle East area and who consider myself educated or I try to educate myself a lot about the area. Um, and there's an ongoing discussion about the politics and the culture and all of that since my husband is Jewish and he brings in another uh, viewpoint than mine whereas I was born in Beirut I was born to a Palestinian father and a Lebanese mother and we both read and pass articles to each other and um, 
And yet, when I saw Federico's work, there was so much I learned about the area. Now, this is past, of course, how wonderful the work is as photographs, the way these photographs give you silent messages. Um, they, they really are awesome. <laughs> awesome in the real sense of the word. They, there's awe in, and silence, but they scream loudly. Um, and beyond that, there was an informative part to all of this, that I was seeing things that I, about an area I thought I knew. I knew everything about that area, but you know what? I didn't know anything about it. When you see those images, you learn so much. And that is the kind of learning we need to do more of.